Explore Koh Samui, a tropical dream. Join us for sun-kissed beaches, indulge in local flavors and hidden island treasures. Ready for an island adventure? Let's dive into Koh Samui's wonders. Hello guys, welcome to Koh Samui, Thailand. Uh, this is a island down kind of the peninsula of Thailand on the north side. I can't remember what the sea is called. I put it down below. But yeah, as you can see, it's kind of nice and chill. We're on the north side of the island. This here is Koh Phangan. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, it's just palm trees, white beaches, and people getting sunburned. Yes. Uh, currently, we're just doing a little walk down probably down to the pier and this pier here is actually a boat to sometimes catch to Copenhagen over there so we're just gonna go check it out maybe do it at some point don't know not sure um, but at the moment just going for a walk yeah Ko means island. We know that, don't we? As in Koh Phangan, Koh Samui, Koh Tao, Ko Lanta, Ko, all of them. Uh, so Ko means island, and then Samui means haven or kind of. Well, actually, I think it's something like in Hainanese. So that's kind of like of Chinese descent. Um, actually, means barrier. So, and then that's kind of then. I guess translated to haven so it was kind of like the first haven to come to when they came down from the north i believe on the sea that is if that makes sense so i'm not sure if it's thai or if it's kind of more of a hayanese uh maybe viewers thai or other viewers down below could let me know in the comment section um, but yeah, it definitely feels like a haven. Yeah, it's very peaceful here. Very chill. It's probably the most relaxing beach I think we've been to in Thailand. That's for sure. Yeah. You know, all the rest have kind of been a bit hectic. This is the first time I've kind of, we've both been able to kind of ah, breathe a big sigh of relief, I believe. Yeah, I, I'm planning a new song uh, because Ko Samui in, in my language it makes me feel about Ko Hai Shibye, which means self love, love yourself. And it really feels here that it's a place where you can tune to that energy of like release and find the space to nurture yourself. So, like, I recommend for those kind of reasons to come here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's definitely been a place like we haven't really done much the last couple of days, just sat in the sun, uh, done a little swimming. One thing I have found it really difficult to do is actually find the oomph or the inspiration to actually do these videos. I've just been like, ah, I'll just relax. <laughs> Which, you know, has kind of been nice, but this is kind of why I've pushed myself into doing this video now, even though we're just going for a little walk. Um, you know, because I do want to share that I guess experience with you. Like, even though I just want to relax, like, you know, maybe you do too, all the way through the internet. So that's what we're trying to achieve here, people. Relax now <laughs> and enjoy. Enjoy the view. Nice one. We're almost here, kind of. I think we're about halfway. Halfway to the pier. That is a coconut. One thing actually that we have experienced or Asha has experienced is falling palm leaves so and uh, she was instructed or, or um, recommended not to sit under brown coconut which actually all these trees looks like the coconuts have been taken away yeah. which is probably for a very good reason because you don't want one of those landing on your head um, but yeah do look out for coconuts do look out for brown leaves and the big spiders as well and big spiders there is big spiders 
Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, as you can see, like these ones have kind of, I think it looks like they've all been trimmed actually. But ours, maybe two days ago, a big palm leaf kind of fell down just in front of, in front of Asher. So do be mindful of that, I guess, when you're relaxing. Yeah, otherwise I, it may not be so relaxing. I didn't even know, like some random lady came and told me like, hey, make sure that you don't sit under the brown ones. Mm. I, I didn't even know that they, I mean, I knew they fall, but like, I didn't know it's a, it's a kind of a dangerous situation. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had a hectic, um, I kind of experienced that firsthand, at least of one of the coconuts falling down in, in Bali and when I was going for a run, I kind of like was like, oh, okay, don't stand under palm trees or at least coconut trees. So yeah, you know, just, just something to look out for. Um, otherwise, just, you know, sit on the beach. We're kind of, it's a, we're on a strange, it's kind of strange, it's a bit of a strange one. Strange one for me anyway, because we're on the beach, but we're facing north and the sun rises over there behind you and then it kind of is always behind you just i think just the nature of our bay which is um may nam i'm not sure what may means but nam means water um but yeah just the shape of the beach in this crescent seems to be that the sun actually follows it around so the sun is always at your back so there's always shade on the beach which is actually quite nice but yeah, but you, but you can still get obviously the sunny patches if you here. So yeah, depends on what your um, what your goal is. For me, it's definitely to get more and more and more and more sun. But you do have the option of having the shade. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> As you can maybe see, kind of behind me down here, 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 at this part of the beach, like just over here is um, like kind of either a derelict or a rundown or a half built um, resort. And then all in front of it, this is all empty, like an empty lot. And then all, but all in front of it here, you can see all the human garbage, you know, kind of the realities of, of us, right? You know, I guess, well, I can only imagine that kind of, you know, our place is quite clean and everything. Although it does look like they're sweeping it up here into piles. But um, I can imagine that kind of each resort or each plot or each owner of the land is then responsible also for their part in front of the sea. Because it's only down here, really, that this rubbish on the beach kind of exists. And we do see a bit kind of floating in the water every so often which isn't so nice. I did actually pull out a broken bottle out of uh, out of the sand when I was swimming one day and put it, you know, so there, yeah, you know, but it's just the realities, isn't it? The realities of, um, I don't know, having like a resort island where people come to play, they don't come to recycle. You know, I don't know what the, um, yeah, I don't know. No, don't want to spend too long talking about that. You know, it's still such a nice place, you know, such a nice place. So calm, peaceful. We do have the realities of humanity. But, you know, hopefully we're working towards being better at interacting with this. <laughs> ah, look, you can see here, uh, one of the boats has just come in. I believe it's just come from Copenhagen. So this is like, as we're, like I said, we're looking at the south side of Copenhagen from the north side of Koh Samui. This here is Hadrin. Let's see if I'm pointing in the right direction. That there, the bit that sticks out that way, that goes east. Hadrin is actually on the other side. Had, I think, or Rin, either Had or Rin means rock. So that's like the bloop, the bit there, right? And then on the other side of that heading is uh, the full moon parties, the infamous full moon parties. Uh, not sure if we're going to go. Uh, we're not really around for the full moons 
at present I have been in my youth <laughs> came here like when I was 21 so you know I kind of I think I experienced it it's all a bit hazy and then I got food poisoning so you know we're not we're not 100 sure that even happened anyway it does exist though it's over there it looks like there's a really nice boat right next to it I don't know if you can see it looks like you know, with a sail and everything anyway we may be going over to Copenhagen uh, we're kind of heading towards the pier, going to check that out, going to see how much the price is. At our guest house, um, they said it was $3.50. Kind of looked online, it says about $3.50 as well. Um, they've also said um, at our guest house to get from our place to the pier is $150 each. I checked on Grab, so Grab works on the island. Apparently we haven't actually used it. I've heard it does work, but it may take a while for people to like kind of accept um, but yeah, for grab it was like 297 baht, 297 baht, so 300 baht, right, for one car as opposed to 150 each, so that would be 300 anyway. So either way, it's fine, like I guess that's a good price then. You know, I, I do find grab and, I mean, Bolt doesn't work here, grab outside of Bangkok seems really expensive, it seems, it seems. Um, I don't know why that is. Actually, I guess, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, we're heading that way. We're going to check how much the price is. We'll let you know. Uh, and kind of check what the deal is. Oh, I've lost Sasha. All the way down there. I'll just wait for her then. So just here we have the ferry. Da -da -da -da. Um, a long prior seven. Not sure what the company is called. Uh, but yeah, it took them... And seems to be a lot of people on there. It's a catamaran, two hulls. There's also three levels. There seems to be a lot of people. It took a little long, like they're still coming off now. Um, yeah, seems to be a lot of people for how small that boat is. Hope that's okay. <laughs> I don't remember it being that full. Um, and also the boat here wasn't that full. You know, the one from mainland to Koh Samui. It's actually quite empty. Um, well, I wouldn't say empty, but not as full as that one seems to be just now. Uh, obviously, you've got to come off kind of, not single file, but you've got to come off. It's a one-way system, and then everybody gets back on to go back to Copenhagen. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, we're going to go around uh, into here somewhere and kind of check out how much it costs. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the Fairy Building. Chaos, 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 chaos. That's oh, not too bad actually. Not too bad. I know it's just over there, like as you come off, if you're coming back, there was a, uh, a sign up saying 150 uh, minivan to anywhere on the island. So that's, I think, just generally how much it costs. Here you can see there's a snorkeling trip, Koh Tao, Koh Nang Yan, Hua Hin, Bangkok, Koh Phangan. Let's have a look. So we just checked just here, uh, and yeah, it's 3.50. So, yeah, I mean, our place, my, our guest house was wanting to charge us 3.50, 150 for the, for the shuttle. So that's all kind of legit. I guess in total that's 500 each. Uh, we may end up walking down the beach um, to get to the ferry, if we're gonna do this, we're not sure yet. We'll see kind of, yeah, like I said, we're kind of finding a slower pace here on the island so then to try and rush to Copenhagen and then rush back and then rush because we have to get out of the country in like a week or so uh, I don't know, may not be worth it we may just want to stay here we'll see, we'll see um, but yeah, that decision I think is going to be made later tonight even let's see how we get through today, shall we? okay, but yeah, 3.50 Coast of Copenhagen and that's with whatever that company was that I just said before um, yeah, I'll put it down below maybe. But obviously there are, what I was going to say is, obviously there are other options. So there's options, there's other um, piers or other ferry buildings. I think there's like a slow ferry perhaps from where the Big Buddha is. There's another pier there which is a, like more east side of the north side of the island. And that may go 
uh, direct. Not 100% sure, not 100% sure. But yeah, there are, I think Coast Movie has about four piers on it. All go to like kind of different directions, but all kind of also go in the same, uh, to the same location. So yeah. So we'll just come down the end here at this like rocky outcrop. It looks like there's a, a lookout there. I was hoping to be able to see the big Buddha. It still must be behind that heading over there. Um, yeah, which means last time I was here, I actually stayed around on the next bend, I guess. Because one thing that I wanted to do when I came here this time around was because of last time around, I could see from where we were staying, you'd see along the beach and you could always see Big Buddha. I'm going to say taunting you, but I guess that's not really what his thing is. You know, beckoning or I don't know. Like it was really interesting just the influence that it kind of had on you that drew you to him. And I actually did try to go there uh, on a very hot day, walking down the road, and I was like, oh, I can't be that far, I can see it, can't be that far. And then, yeah, ended up actually giving up. Gosh, maybe that's a metaphor for something. <laughs> I don't know. The striving for Buddhism and then giving up, ultimately. Um, interesting, no? Anyway, uh, we've come here to, I think it's called the Black Rose. Ooh. Uh, looks like a cafe bar thing. Pretty chill. All like international flags welcoming people. No New Zealand flag. There is a British flag. No Polish flag. No. no. There's a Polish person there. So yeah, I don't know. We might. Do you want to chill here for a bit? Oh yeah. We need some water and stuff. We might chill here for a bit, people, before welcome back. Um, left Asha oh, on the swing. She was on the swing. She's gonna go check out the restaurant there. I think we might have food there, at least water or something to drink or something. Because uh, it is hot. I think it's about midday. It's about lunchtime. It's gotta be lunchtime somewhere, doesn't it? But yeah, check out the view. Back down. <sighs> Speaking of views, I'm walking up here uh, very slowly because I actually hurt my knee a little bit. Uh, I think running on the sand one day in um, Phuket. So yes, yeah, fun. So walking up slowly, 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 heading up here. Yes. I think there's a viewpoint. It's kind of like out on top on the rocky outcrop. Uh, maybe even a view that way should be great. Okay, when we get there, I'll let you know. Are you ready? <laughs> wow, check it out, see along our whole beach, we're kind of, hmm, maybe there-ish, I guess, there-ish, somewhere there. Uh, some guys down here fishing, I can see a little fish, little fishies down there, a lot of uh, like seaweed and stuff, and rocks you can see along here, which could, could be quite good for like marine life, maybe maybe really interesting rock formations here you see quite like rugged yeah and a nice outcrop there for these guys to sit on uh, try and catch some fish and then over here we've got Cup and Young obviously here I was hoping again to be able to see the big Buddha but he must be just just around there just around there <laughs> uh, I think up here yep is Thai flag nice this is looking up over the beach. I think it's just down there somewhere. Cool. Wow, the water looks really nice. Really, really nice. Ooh. Cool. As you can see, like along this side, ooh, yeah, a lot of rocks. Yeah, I wouldn't. So this would be this kind of, well, the the northwest tip, I guess, of the island. I can't really see much sticking out there. It looks like all the way along this side, or at least up to where I can see it on this corner, is all rock. So it's not the nice sandy beaches that we get on this side. Uh, wow, I can see like a big school of fish there, though, going through the rocks. 
you guys probably can't see it. I do have um, uh, polarized sunglasses on as well. So see through the water like a magician. My secret power is polarization. Da -da -da. Uh, here we've got like a little temple thing. Actually might be a shrine or like maybe a... Uh, uh, where they put bodies, dead bodies. Maybe? I don't know. And that little shack here as well. Looks pretty chill. Probably maybe somewhere to have a massage. Well, that might also be... I don't know, there's a little shrine there. Ah, but yes, very nice. Wow, and even here, here you can see some weird, really weird uh, rock formations. It looks like they've cleared the rocks, maybe for um, boats to come in. Um, yeah, that would make sense. And then I'm not sure what that island is. Where are we looking? We're kind of looking... Mm, South-ish? Southwest? I don't know, maybe that's... I don't know, Kotal? Maybe I'll put it down the bottom, I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I know there's a boat, I know that's Copenhagen, I know there's some rocks. And there's a butterfly, oh, you missed it. You missed the butterfly. Okay, so I'm going to go walk back down, meet back up with Asha. Uh, nice view. Very nice view. But yeah, as you can see, it's a very rocky side of the island, so I wouldn't recommend... Well, well if you're looking for sandy beaches, maybe the side of the island, the west side, isn't the best. But I can see from here, all this south side of the island uh, of Copenhagen looks like it's a beach. You can just see like a white, you know, white line. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to go back down, catch up with Usher. I think we're having food down there, I'm not sure. Probably definitely having a drink. Probably definitely having a drink. Because uh, it is hot. Uh, I need to hydrate. So we stopped off, got some water there. We're gonna head down here further. There's like a bar that we walked past somewhere along on the beach. Um, yeah, just for a bit of beach vibe, foodiness. Yes. As you can see here, the boat is heading out. They're saying something over there. I don't know. Maybe they're saying, uh, "I hope you can swim." <laughs> but it looks very packed. The whole upstairs is full, which I can only imagine means the other layers down as well. As well, although I guess. The upstairs bit is maybe the most popular as long as it's not raining then you actually get to see where you're going then you're just looking out the window um yeah they're talking a lot over there i don't know I'm not sure what they're saying but um yeah i would recommend i guess if you're coming i think even like our um well like we where we book online like so i think i've seen some flags up over the year of like one two go and we've used them before seems like you can pretty much book anything you need to online uh we're probably just maybe going to book through our guest house at least then we know something <laughs> um but we'll see we'll see um but yeah so you can book online at one two go one two go dot asia i think it is I'm not sure i'll put it down below um one two go asia yeah one two go asia um yeah, but I would. I think on on that website it does say turn up one hour early uh, before your um, departure. Because, like I said, as you can see, I mean it's very full. You, know, you want to make sure either you get a good seat, you get even on the boat, perhaps. Um, yeah, cool. Okay, off to Copenhagen. Bye, people. Yeah, it's only half an hour. Right, only half an hour. 350. That's okay, that's okay. Um, okay, we're gonna go head back down. We're gonna go to, I can't remember what it's called, but I guess once we get there, you'll find out. <laughs> Whew, it's very hot, guys, it's very hot. Uh, we've come back kind of via, oh, uh, we've come back via the ferry uh, building here, and uh, now it's completely empty, which is uh, interesting, I guess. Um, we're just going to go on this mini mart. I need some water or maybe like a snack thing. I'll see. 
and then not 100% sure what we're doing because it is really hot actually it's really really hot so we may not be walking down there we're going to try and maybe get like a Song Tiao back to our place um, and then just relax on the beach rather than struggling a lot okay so stopped in the mart there the mini mart got myself Snickers 30 baht for Snickers okay where is the Snickers Snickers wow how much was it 30 baht <laughs> You know, I haven't had a Snickers probably in about a long time. <laughs> a few months. Uh, cool. Well, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, walk. Yeah, well, I asked the lady in there and she said, yeah, there's no, no bus. Well, I think she was trying to convince me that there was no bus <laughs> to start with. One, yeah, 150 is the mini, mini. Minivan. Yeah, yeah. So the same, you know, mini bus. But then the Song Tiao or like the two seater thing. I think we'd have to walk all the way to the main road for that because um, they do kind of the circle, the circuit. Mm, so yeah, maybe not really worth it or something. Or 150, yeah, or 150, 150. We shall see, but we may be walking back. We're just walking through the kind of car parky area away from the thing. We're going to walk, end up maybe walking down the beach in the end. Um, but just as I was walking like here, yeah, one of the taxi drivers was like, hey, taxi, taxi. And I was like, hmm, tale. And he said, um, song Sam Roy, which is 300, 300 baht. That's 150 each, I guess. Hmm, I mean, that's kind of the price generally of, you know, the, the things to anywhere. But our place is like, about three kilometers away from here so it's really really close for them um, and I said no too much and he's like well how much how much and I was like mm, that's okay we'll just walk and he actually went down to Songroy it's 200 so it is doable it is possible it is possible to get it down but obviously our place is really close like it's 152 anywhere on the island so you know I'd expect it to be about 50 or so from here each yeah, Perhaps. exactly. Just because also it's through the street, so it's not that nice, you know. But the, I was expecting like Song Tien, uh, which is just like like in Pattaya. It's, it's, it, I, like the bar bus, right? It's so good, like mm. 10, 10 bar bus. It can take you anywhere. So it's, it, I, I was just wanted to like jump on the little bus and just be there, you know, but it doesn't happen here. Like I mean, I think it does, but you have to walk all the way out to the main road. Like this bit here, it's probably a good like 500 to a kilometer, 500 meters to a kilometer away. Um, yeah, which is kind of a bit far. Might as well just walk it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's I guess what we're gonna do. So yeah, this place, like nice uh, bamboo structure here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna walk back down the beach. Uh, we'll see what happens. We're getting hungry though. We are getting hungry. All right, bye. So we just stopped here along the beach. The pier is just there and our place is down there. We're about halfway, I guess, more or less. Yep. Uh, we stopped at this little place called Anke. It's like German Thai. Yeah, I guess. very like, nice people, German men and uh, I guess Thai ladies cooking. <laughs> but uh, feels very friendly and nice decor as well. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. That kind of shipwreck. Shipwreck styles. Nice view out here. And uh, yeah, when food comes, I'll let you know. Actually, I, this has come. This has come. Already got a mango smoothie. Yes. And that was 60 baht, or it will be 60 baht. Yeah. Yeah. You have fish? You can. No. seafood? No meat. Hello. So I've uh, ordered and I already got my vegetables of gold. <laughs> so um, I have uh, rice vegetables. and some pork and some pork. Um, <clears throat> I've been a bit uh, sore with my belly for like the last couple of days after traveling. So um, trying to treat it well. Part of yesterday. Oh, wow. oh, that's great. Thank you. Uh, 
so yeah, um, so that was Usher's uh, sweet and sour pork mm. vegetables stuffs. Tastes good? Yeah, heaven, heaven in my mouth. Um, so we have like carrots, <clears throat> broccoli, um, cauliflower, cauliflower. <laughs> and the tomato and like, <clears throat> I think this is a pineapple actually. It's pineapple, yeah. That's a sweet and sour. I see, I see, of course, yeah. Then so, yeah. That's good? Yeah, very good. I got, um, I think pork, basil, pork, and ba no, chicken, pork, I can't remember. One of those things. Uh, and here we have some beans, broccoli, carrots, and some cauliflower as well. I think this one's quite spicy. Oh. Bless you. No, no, it's not spicy at all. There's loads of flavour. Tastes really good. Uh, I'm going to shut up now because there's uh, people. Hey guys, we are uh, finished. Sorry, that was kind of like a bit of a bit of an abrupt. It's a really cool place, but um, there was some people sitting like right close to me. I felt a bit awkward, like chatting, and also it was very quiet. Very That's quiet. quiet. It's very very quiet. When I stopped talking, all you could hear was the ch ch of the water. So. I got a bit self-conscious. <laughs> um, anyway, the thing, everything, it was good. I got the mango shake, the basil chicken and rice. And mine was total 180, I believe. And I should go sweet and sour pork, pork with, rice. with rice extra, which was 120. 120. Very good as well. Yeah. Very good. So yeah, some good, good food. It's called Anka, and it's just the A-N-K-E, just on the beach here. If you're at Main Nam, stop by, nice place. Like, yeah, I guess run by a German uh, and Thai couple. Yes, stop by. Okay, so now we're heading back this way. Back to our place. I'm then just gonna sit on the beach, do nothing. Yes. <laughs> Okay guys. Hello, smiley face. Hello, smiley face. Um, we're done for this video. Ta-da! Ta-da! I'm, I'm gonna go sit over there on the on the on the on the sand and I'm gonna do nothing. So that'll be pretty boring for you, I think. So I think I'll end this video here. Yes, we went all the way down there. We stopped at food somewhere there, and now we're back here. This is our place here. So we're gonna chill. Uh, thanks for watching guys really appreciate it make sure you comment down below as to where we should go next or in Koh Samui in Thailand in the rest of the world we will try and get there to show it to you let us know let us know thanks for watching see you guys on the next one make sure you subscribe and um, we'll see you on the next one until then keep on, keep on drifting yes see you on the next one guys bye 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 thank you thank you thank you, thank you.